Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I wanted to show you guys how to do that cool text effect where you drop a shadow behind your text all the way off the side of the screen. It's pretty popular. You can do different, different shades, different colors, but I wanna show you how to do that text effect real quick. And we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. So let's go. We're gonna hit file, new, then I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna do 1920 by 1080. I only need one artboard for this one. I'm just gonna keep it pretty straightforward. And I'm gonna use a word like, let's just do something like this. Adrian graphics, okay. So I got that nice text there. You can see how tiny it is. I'm filling up the box. I'll go ahead and hit character, make this bigger. Let's get a better font. Let's just change the font because I wanted to have a cool font. There we go. I like that. Okay, and then we're gonna make it bigger. So it takes up two lines. There we go. Let me go one more. Oh, too many. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and we're gonna center it. All right, so now that I have that there, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this to auto. So it does the spacing. There we go. Pull this down. All right, so here's our text. We got Adrian Graphics, and it looks like the kerning's a little off. It's at zero, so let me just bring these in just a little bit more. And there we go. Okay, so we're just gonna stick with that for now. It doesn't need to be perfect. I just wanted to show you this effect. So now we go over here, we click on the layer. What I need to do first is we need to go into our layers palette, and I wanna duplicate it. So we're gonna go ahead and copy it. We're gonna need that here in a minute. For the moment, just turn that off. Go back here and click on your copy. I gotta go to effect. You're gonna go to distort. There we go and you're gonna hit transform. Okay, now this window is gonna pop up. Let me bring this to the middle. Now, right here on the move, you're gonna hit horizontal of 0.75. On the vertical, you're gonna hit 0.75. Click that there so that it selects. Leave everything else the same. This is 100, this is 100, angle is zero. Now, the little secret here is you're gonna hit this and you're gonna put a thousand. Let me just do 100 to show you what that looks like first. And I have the preview turned on so you can see. Let me make sure I probably have to click off of it first. There we go. See, that's 100. Now, if I go to 1,000 and I click off of it, bring this back and look at that. It comes right off the side. So we make this smaller. We're going to hit OK. Bring this in. There we go. All right. So now we see it comes right off the edge and has a nice, cool effect. So we're going to go ahead and take this layer now, bring it up above. There we go. And we're going to turn this layer back on. Now, we have that text, we're gonna change the text. Let's just do this for some good contrast. We're gonna make this text white. Boom, you can see here. So that looks okay, but it would probably be better to make it a different color. So we're gonna go ahead and just type in my favorite color code, A42027. We call this Adrian Burgundy. Keep it classy, San Diego. All right, and then if we want to, we could use a different background and really make this pop and look cool. But the tutorial really isn't about that. I just wanted to show you this quick text effect. I'm gonna show you with a dark background because I think it's just gonna look better overall if we do it. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab this, this bottom layer here and I'm gonna adjust the color of that. So I'm gonna type in A42027. Again, my Adrian Burgundy, right? It's gonna select, okay? Now we're gonna need to bring that above the black layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Hold Shift and Command or Shift Control and the arrow next to your P, the little brackets. I'm gonna bring that to the back. There it is, so it's back there. Now I need to bring this text layer, the actual Adrian text layer, where is that out here? And I need to make that pop a little bit more. So I wanna bring this in. Okay, we got that there. So let's just bring this in a little bit more. There we go. Give it just a second. So now that's a little hard to read. So I'm gonna have to change my text. Let me just make that white. Boom, okay, you know what? We're gonna stick with that. So you're probably wondering, well, how the heck do I get this outside of the, or to remove it from the outside here? Well, the easiest way to do that is to grab a new text box. You're gonna turn off the color inside of it and you're gonna click and drag right inside here. You're just gonna make it the same shape as the business card or whatever this graphic is supposed to be used for. It's 1920 by 1080, like a thumbnail, all right? There's no text inside there. Then you're gonna hit the actual backdrop layer here there you go, and you're gonna hit Command-7. Boom, and I just clipped that inside there. Now I'll have to bring that top text back in. Here it is, and bring this above it. There we go. See, now everything's clipped inside there. So that's how you do that. Hopefully this was pretty easy for you. Just hit the 0 .75, 0 .75, hit 1,000 copies, and you're good to go. You can do this with any text, and my text is still editable. So that's the tutorial. If you guys love this, 
please drop a like, drop a subscribe. I can do a lot more like this and I have a lot of tutorials coming along with more training and our event. So thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. And as always, keep looking up.